say this, but it was either you or me. Hello my fellow goobers, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to Gotham Knights. If you guys have been enjoying this game so far, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. If you're new to the channel, there are a couple of cards you can click on the top right corner in order to watch other playlists. And if you're wondering what I'm doing right now, this is Red Hood's um, Knighthood ability. It's definitely the coolest in terms of visually, but the jumping thing is really weird unless I don't have the timing down right now. It's super weird but yeah definitely looks the coolest but i still think robin's is the best and yeah my suit looks badass doesn't it it looks very like reminiscent of the arkham knight red hood suit all right let's see what we have here my only drawback with the suit is you can't properly see like red hood's face damn it who did this Oh god. Can anyone hear me? God damn. Okay then. Is that the penguin? Okay, no, that's his bodyguard. Where is oh my god. What is this? We what? You're on my shit list now. What the hell is this place anyway? What's that smell? The first question you're asking is what's the smell? Do you not see what's around you right now? Great. Cut off. This is giving me um maze runner type vibes. If you haven't seen the movie, I'd definitely recommend it. Okay then, holy shit, so we are in a maze. Oh no, we're in a labyrinth. Okay, never mind. I saw the flames, I saw that shit. You can't pull a fast one on me, not like that. I have played too many Uncharted games. Okay. Okay, I could cheese it from there, nice. I like this, it's kind of like a switch up, but I think someone's just like messing with our mind. Hopefully it's like some oh, cool boss, like, not boss, like a character like Zitana or something from the DC universe. But I don't know, let's see. Unless this is a literal labyrinth, but it doesn't make any sense. If it's the case, I think someone's just messing with our head. And how in the hell am I supposed to go through this? Bruh, I don't know, I need impeccable timing, that's all I actually know right now, but... Wait, I think I can... God damn it. But that's definitely what I have to do. Let's go. Alright. We found the one spot and we went for it. Wait, what? Okay, if someone's showing us visions or something, then yeah, there's definitely some character messing with our heads. Because then why is there a random chair just chilling over here? I really hope it's someone cool. Like, right. what the hell is that? Oh god, god damn it. I saw it the last second. Nice. 
been making my way home. Okay. Oh, there's a Lazarus pit? What the hell? Not again. Wait, is that Batman? I can't tell. I I think it was. That's not who I am. Not anymore. They were just showing him his deepest, darkest se like fear, not it? secret. Never mind. So I guess like for Barbara it would be about her father because he's dead. Um, I think for Robin it would be like not living up to Bruce's legacy. But I don't know about Nightwing honestly. Is it over? Do you think it's over? If anything, this screams puzzle time right now. Okay, nothing happens. Do I have to shoot something then? Right. Oh. Now we're getting somewhere. Okay, I guess uh, you have to do the correct sequence or some shit. I don't know. Let's see. Okay, so it was a sequence thing. I think we're good. Is he not gonna open? Is he not gonna open the door? Oh, okay, just needed a second. Never mind. Air is way better here. Okay, we're still not done with the labyrinth, but at Must least we're making progress. And this is just a complete change up from what we've been playing before. Why is there a desk just chilling here? Oh god. Wait, what? How didn't I hit them? Okay, now I did. God damn it. Come on. There we go. No, you don't. God damn it. They're so fast. Are you kidding me right now? Yeah, playing as Red Hood with these guys is definitely not the most ideal choice. Look at this shit. Finally, thank God for that. That was... I'm not looking forward to that, especially not playing as Red Hood, god damn it. Fam, where are we? Like genuinely, where are we right now? Bring it then, big boy. Also, he doesn't have a boss, like, health bar, so I assume he's gonna be a normal enemy now. Come on. Oh, shit. There's no way he's gonna be a normal enemy, right? He's too tanky. Actually, he might just be a normal enemy. Come on. Oh god, can you imagine having to deal with this guy and the freaking talons? Not looking forward to that at all. But you just know it's gonna happen if he's if this guy's not a boss. Come 
Come on then. Come on. Oh, you have time for the move. Come on. There we go. Please let that be a way out. I don't know. Let's see. Oh, okay, it is. Yes, that's how they change the rooms around. He's making it sounds as, as, as if like that sounds okay. Like this place just I guess gorgeous. that's how they change it. But where are we? Like, see if I can find out what where is this place that has so much space? You can just do shit like this. Somewhere. I mean, I think I can get the bonus objective. It's just remain undetected, and there's just one dude remaining. So I should, I think we should be fine. Come on, then. Lol. Okay, we're good. All right. Nice. Now I... I don't know what to do now. That sounded like shit. That animation looked like shit. But as long as we get out of here, it's fine. I won't care as long as we get out of here. Why the hell is this water so damn cold? Oh, well, that's why the water is so damn cold. Again, I... Where the hell are we that has so much space? He looks important. Probably like some bunker in the freaking mountains or some shit. God damn it. Oh wait a second, what the hell? I just realized there was a dude. I won't start breaking what is wrong with this guy? This and why is he so <laughs> fucking muscular? Volunteers? The dead can't consent to your experiments. They're not dead at first. The new ones, they offer themselves up for the cause. Oh god, offer themselves up for the cause. I'm going to knock you out Where now. we heard that before. Are you shitting me right now? There's so many of them, are you insane? Oh no, you don't. You know what, with this game I wouldn't be surprised if all of these chambers open and we have to beat everyone one by one. Yeah, at least we got everyone, right? Nope, there's someone still there. The well, no point being stealthy with this guy, at least. Oh my god. Right. That was a straight up execution. What the hell? Then if I overload the cooling system, it would stop them. Those look like the cooling system Yeah, I'm already tinkering with them. Don't worry about it, Red Hood. I got this. Of course they're gonna be enemies now. And then there's a second one and then it's gonna be another phase. Perfect. Like I said, I wouldn't be surprised if we had to fight everyone. Because it's already happened at points where we've had to beat over 200 people in one night. And that's the thing with like statistics like that, you kind of shoot yourself in the foot as well because 
This is the player realizes how many people you force them to beat, and you can't avoid like beating them. Because I think when I did the Harley Quinn boss, um, like it was just one mission, and I had to beat freaking over a hundred and ten people. Which was just insane. There was so much just unnecessary freaking thrashing of people for reasons I don't know. Like, oh god, I don't even know if I'm uploaded those videos. Like, they've been uploaded, but I don't know if I've made them public or not at the moment. I guess we'll see. So the thing is, there are a lot of there are like three side bosses. So basically, what I'm doing is I'm just cutting the fat. And I'm just focusing on the boss fight itself because, like I said, I'm for Harley. I've had to beat 110 people in just four missions. So can you imagine? I don't think anyone wants to kind of sit through that because it's just unnecessarily too much. And okay, we have two big boys to fight. All right, this is gonna be fun. I I get. All right. That's it for number one. Let's see what this guy's got. Just so close. Shoot him. And now do the best move in the game. The second best move. I think um, Batgirl's move is still the most overpowered. The perfect blocks. Perfect evades and then just knock that guy. Knock him out. Right now, what do I have to do? Because this place is coming down. Oh, never mind. Okay, so we were in underground or some shit. Never mind. I read you, Belfry. It's good to hear your voice. Thank God. Are you okay? I'm yeah, good. Don't worry about it. One piece. Return to, to the, the Belfries. All right. Yep. Of course. Let's go back to the Belfry and see what we have. Talons, the labyrinth, all punishment for exposing the court. <clears throat> to think Jacob Kane ever thought we could be on the same side. The labyrinth wasn't just meant to kill us. The court wanted to get in our heads. It might have worked. We'll be okay, Tim. Will we? Batman didn't kill people, but where would he stand on soldiers lining up to be reborn as these monsters? I used to be dead. You think I'm a monster? We have one setback. And this is where you go, Tim? Murder? I get steering him away from killing people, but the labyrinth was more than a setback, Babs. Don't talk about me like I'm not here. You're not Bruce. None of you are. Enough! Gotham practically lined up to kill Batman. Every time Bruce came home, bloodied, 
near death. I patched him up. Just as I now do for you. He was often angry. But he never stooped to their level. And neither will you. Alfred's right. Batman had a code. No matter how tough this gets, we can't betray it. The court is made up of Gotham's founding families. They'll protect their own like only family will. They may be related, but they aren't family. Not like we are. The evidence we uncovered against Kane at the hotel is pretty much bulletproof. Then our best course of action isn't war, it's prosecution. I don't think Kane's gonna honor a warrant. He will if we help the cops serve it. The same cops currently gunning for every cape in Gotham? I can think of at least one still on our side. Right, what do we have the to do now? Talk to Detective Montoya. All right, <clears throat> let's leave this place, talk to her, and see what's up. Kind of All right, Detective Montoya, what's up? Some good news. I've got enough evidence to lock Kane up for years. It's the warrant that's the problem. Is the judge giving you a hard time? I've been to see every judge I know, and no one will sign it. They're scared. Even if they don't know about the court, they know not to mess with Kane. What about Judge Moreno? She's put away some interesting people. Gotham's old money types. Elena was one of the first names on my list. But I guess things got bad over that whole Chelsea Tunnel case. She's gone into hiding. <laughs> Did you forget what I do for a living? I'll ask around, find some upstanding citizens to point me in the right direction. Get that warrant signed. And you know I'll serve it. I read a report about a vigilante saving a cop's ass. <laughs> okay <laughs> then. So, what do we have now? Okay. Well, I'll figure out in the next video. So, yep, that's going to be it for today's video, ladies and gentlemen. If you all enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. If you're new to the channel, there are a couple of cards in the top right corner. So, make sure to check them out because they contain other playlists. And yep, I'll be seeing you on the next video. Until then, goodbye and stay safe.